Whoa, ladles and jelly spoons has teamed out for Limit Their Mess in Tenerife. It's Wednesday, it's 5.56. <laughs> and this is Balcony Banter. <laughs> And here we are in all our glory, ladies and gentlemen. How the devil are you? Yeah, quite good. We cool, we dude. We are good. We are good. We are <laughs> good. good. It's a beautiful day here in Tenerife. Let me just show you. Okay, look, there's Los Cristianos and Rock del Conde <laughs> and Palmar, Costa Adigi, over to La Gomera and the pool. All right, that's enough of that one. Ian is going to join us later if he can. And I'm just going to stop this uh, camera and then I can see who's on. I might be talking to myself. No. Disconnect. Okay, one, two, buckle my shoe. So, ladies and gentlemen, he says, why karaoke is today's topic. Why? It doesn't mean we're going to sing, though. We might sing, yeah, but... Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond, maybe, I don't know. We already got somebody saying Sweet Caroline. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's Caroline saying Sweet Caroline. <laughs> okay. Probably. Let's see. Let's see if I can get these uh, these things up here. Oh, there we are. Why karaoke? Oh, I didn't put a proper picture up today. We'll just put this standard picture. Oh, wow. My, oh, my, oh, my. Loads of people. Let me just turn this down so I don't have any... Okay, ladies and jelly spoons, cool dudes, as they say. Who have we got on? Whoa, loads of people. we got 68 people on already, but I don't trust this anymore because it said I had 85 people on when I had 200 and odd people the other day. <laughs> Steve Moody, first here. Just have to talk to myself a bit until someone turns up. And hi, Steve, says Steve Moody. I'm good, thanks. Why karaoke? <laughs> he's, he's really having a conversation <laughs> with himself. <laughs> Can't sing a note. You are early tonight, Tim. I wasn't. We were one minute late. Yeah. Uh, ready for some karaoke. Well, actually, um, <laughs> they're expecting karaoke now, right? And I don't have anything prepared. I guess prepared. so. I don't have anything prepared because um, it's why karaoke. We always do at the uh, at the end, vamos a la playa. Vamos a la playa. <laughs> but I suppose I could do some karaoke, but I've only got these three tunes. <laughs> and all right this is actually called stripping down nude stripping down nude. and there is actually words to it but i don't have them oh, oh you make them up i do yeah no no <laughs> but this is what i used to do the weather oh yeah true. ladies and gentlemen there's plenty of weather in the next few days it's been really weird, actually. It's gone from 21 to 25, back to 21 in the shade. And we had some rain. And just then... perfect to wash the exactly. car. <laughs> rain on Monday, just after I washed the windows on Sunday. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but it's been quite nice. It's when the sun's out, it's warm, right? Yeah. But uh, Christina's still got a blanket and a sweatshirt. I think there's something wrong with it, you know. I think... I think she's gone crazy. We have frostkettle. I sit all day. You do what all day? Sit. Oh, sit, okay. <laughs> Just sit and wait. <laughs> Stripping down nude. I can't dance, I can walk. Uh -huh. The only thing about me is the way that they talk. Very That's exactly, good. yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think my theme tune is You're the one for me Fatty You're the one for me Fatty And actually it doesn't mean about a fat person Okay She's called Fatima Ah Oh There you go oh. Let's stop that What other one, what other one I've got? Oh the news Covid updates We don't have it. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> and that's the end of the COVID update for today. 
We love a bit of a tune. <laughs> Cool dude, cool dude. Ian's still not on, but it doesn't matter. It? We can't wait for him. What we're going to do is Alan Fraser's got my passport today. We'll be on that plane Friday, and then it's two weeks in Tenerife. Ooh. Passport saga is for another day. Oh, actually, if I meet you, uh, we'll, I'll interview you, and you can tell us all about your passport saga. How's that? Sarah Charles, what's we seeing first? I think people have really come they, on now. Yeah. I'm saying, okay. The Why <laughs> Karaoke is a, is a film or a, or a video that Giuliani did not so long ago. Oh, that was really long ago. Well, not so long ago in my years, you know. It's like somebody sort of saying 30 years ago, and you sort of go, yeah, the 70s. And then you realise they mean the mid-90s. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh it wasn't the 90s, was it? No, no not they, quite. Not quite the but 90s. it felt it was. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're going to have a look at that. But we might have... I mean, if you want to come on and sing, then... Exactly. Yeah, then the, Maybe the room is open. Maybe you come in the room. Come in the room. And just have a little sing song. S sing uh, one verse and one chorus and then bug sing off song. and let somebody else in. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, cool. uh, who of you guys is like a uh, uh, karaoke, super karaoke fan? Uh, Me and Christina, you mean? Yeah. We hate it. You hate it? Yeah. yeah. We're like a pest. We hate it. Like, like a pest. Totally. Like the pest. <laughs> really? Hey. And you are such a, a music girl, aren't you? Yeah, but... but not... Uh, I don't like my own voice anymore. And yeah, but have you... Uh, have you mm, I never did this. But did you um, sing at home at some time? No. No. Never ever. Not even under oh, the shower. Oh, no, she did. She, I've, I've heard her sing. I've heard her sing. What I usually do is to go and get her a day job and make sure she doesn't give it up. Yeah, I just <laughs> pretend to sing, but... Darren John's editing, so he's on in the background. Hi, Darren, in the background. Is Tim practising his singing for the karaoke? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to have to sing, aren't I? you got to sing. Oh, God, God. They want you my to God. sing, huh? Let me just put some vibrato on my voice then. Here we go. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen. Is there a bit more than that? No, not too much, isn't it? I can Ladies make and everyone gentlemen. sound great. Uh, I can mute you. <laughs> there you go. They're gone. That's only me now. Doesn't matter what she says now. It's only me. <laughs> only me. <laughs> the biggest problem with karaoke is, is carry means empty and okay is like song or music. So it's the Japanese for empty music. Oh. Like karate uh -huh. is for empty... Let me just turn that down. Karate is for... You're back on now. Uh, empty okay. hand. Empty Ka hand. Karate. Yeah. Empty hand. And if you, uh, if you meet uh, the face, uh -huh. then uh, you fill it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Should have kept it muted, I think. Should have kept it muted. I'm pointing the right way today. Yay! Because <laughs> I had my faulty towers moment before you came on. So there you go. <laughs> Only you, Johnny Vloggers on. If you want to see fantastic karaoke, <laughs> go and subscribe to Johnny Vlogger UK. He does a karaoke um, extraordinaire on a Friday nights after us. <laughs> and he's, he's on till three o'clock in the morning or something. Okay. So if you want to sing, go and see Johnny Vlogger. There we go. Are we singing? That's probably why he's on tonight, because he wants to sing. Yeah. There you go. Come in, Johnny, and give us a song. Exactly. Willie Russian's on. Hi, great Monday night, Tim. Willie and his beautiful wife, Maz, were, uh, was over. And uh, they were one of the two couples that we met yesterday. If you've not seen that with uh, Lee and Darren, that was really good fun. That was really good fun. Unfortunately, Daniel couldn't make it, and uh, none of the other vloggers could make it either, because of work and busy. We ain't working busy. Ziggy Bateman, hi Tim, we're over in June. Ziggy, great. There's actually a bar called Ziggy's Bar, or is it Tiggy's Bar? <laughs> I'll take it back, it's Tiggy's Bar, but it's near enough. We go there and have a pint. Tony Such is on. Mine just keeps buffering. We're not buffering, are we? Hmm. Do you know who behind Tenerife Uncovered? No, but he's quite funny, isn't he? It's quite funny. He's not been nasty yet, which is good. But he doesn't do me anymore because maybe I, I don't have any karaoke mo uh, not karaoke. There you go. There's one. I don't have any um, faulty towers moments anymore. Last week you did, and you uh, wore the shirt. <laughs> I did. Yeah. 
<laughs> Moira says she's buffering. Cole's place is on. That's true. I've made a good living out of karaoke over the years, Tim, so unfortunately I can't comment, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah he's, uh, he does karaoke. He's done good. it three times last weekend. Wow. If you're in uh, Bournemouth, uh, then you, you can get Cole to do a karaoke for you. Karaoke party. And if you don't know Cole, Cole's place, he's a brand new vlogger. He does walks around Bournemouth, plus he's been here a few times. So go on his channel, he's got loads of stuff. Bournemouth, Seaside, Tenerife, Seaside, and some other stuff. And he's going to do a walk for charity soon, so you can go and sponsor him for that as well. I mean, it would be interesting to know uh, what uh, the ones who love karaoke and love singing karaoke, what, um, yeah, what makes you love it so much? Why you do it in the first place? That's true. Let's play this. Let's play the video. Yeah. And that'll be the setup, and then we'll go into yeah. a discussion of whether karaoke is a good thing, or karaoke is a bad thing, or karaoke is just neutral, and anybody can take advantage of it or not, as yeah. the case may be. Or if it's maybe some kind of helpful thing as well, um, therapeutic. Therapeutic. There we go. We're into the therapy now. There we go. Yeah. Into the therapy, and I've got a video to show you as well, which is nothing to do with karaoke. Uh, shall I save it till Friday then, maybe? Okay. You we'll, decide. I'll decide. It's, it's our show, but I decide. Because the executive producer ain't here. <laughs> do I like? I can do what I like today. <laughs> right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Charlie, Ian, Michael, Moira, Pete and Shell, Johnny Vlogger. Hi. I set up five, ten minutes. I sing one song. Okay, Johnny. Good. Come in. Great. <laughs> And he's going to set up with all his stuff as well. Wow. The only thing is, Johnny, if you can't play any songs that are copyright. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is a shame. Oh, no. Uh, well, I won't monetize this, so you do what you like. You do what you like. I'm not going to turn... Mo I, I forgot to turn it on anyway, mm -hmm. so it doesn't really matter. You can play any song you like, Johnny. Any song you like. Okay, let's play this thing. So I shall mute us, and we shall listen or watch it's only three minutes yeah, so don't worry and in fact the intro is going to be um is going to be longer than the than the video really? <laughs> Lately, I've been checking the karaoke scene. <laughs> and what I found is that people love karaoke because of several reasons. I sat down and just analyzed the people. And, and I found that the people get together, their families coming together, they're just having a great time maybe spending time together, which they would normally not do. So they engage in something, in a, in, in a passion, in, in something they, um, they love doing, you know, because music connects people. That's quite obvious. So mm, they are just having a good time. And then also what I found is that people when they go up on stage they they have those let's say the song is like three minutes long they have those three minutes in the spotlight so they feel great they feel important so that boosts their self-esteem so that's another thing i um i can um say about karaoke and of course it's it sets free um hormones um happy hormones <laughs> so mm, that's that's a perfect 
stimulation actually to boost your happiness so i just can recommend it to uh, everyone once in a while go out have some fun in a bar and um, sing karaoke get over your uh, fears your stage fright and just go out there and sing the song you love to perform the song maybe you have one particular in mind which one you like most or well whatever you can ask um the the entertainer who's doing the um the karaoke entertainment so um just ask him which song you uh, you can perform if he has your favorite song even better so just go out there on stage and rock it so have a good time and if it's with friends then it's even better because it's a big group but even if you are alone you know i sometimes i i went alone by myself and i had a blast really honestly i had a blast and every time i met some some great people and always studied their behavior and why they're going out there on stage and why they are mm, deciding to perform on stage so um it's analyzing people quite a bit i love it <laughs> thank you Thank you. <laughs> I love that at the end. So that's uh, that, that's your take on karaoke there. Yeah. From 1935, was it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. So I mean, um, we we have um, uh, a very nice uh, little bar here in uh, in Callao Salvaje, actually. Mm -hmm. The Three Horseshoes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shout out to the Three Horseshoes. Yeah. And and that's a, a great place uh, to do karaoke. But I mean, in Las Americas and Los Cristianos, you also got great places to go. And um, yeah, as I said in the video, it's it's always uh, fun to see um, families uh, together and people in general having a good time. Yeah. And yeah, and and there are the the ones that are just sitting uh, sitting there enjoying and listening, and then there are um, the <clears throat> the stage animals who, who love to go out on stage and who are already very comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. But even, and uh, I went quite, uh, quite a long time, a long period, mm -hmm. over a long period of time. I even went there with uh, some, uh, some friends and uh, some people I know who, uh, who have never been uh, mm -hmm. on stage or performing karaoke. And, uh, and once they got out with their first song, they were so thrilled and so into it. You couldn't stop them. Yeah, exactly, that. and and they started loving it actually. So uh, I think it's a it's a great way to uh, to become more more loose, and uh, and if you look at uh, songs, uh, they become also more meaningful uh, a lot of times. Uh, when when you just listen to a song, then you take it in uh, only um, audibly, but uh, if if you have to perform the song. Or you have to sing actively. You're reading the lyrics. You are you're listening, and you're listening to your own voice and try to make uh, um, something out of your own voice as well. And you have to uh, uh, also mm, sort of put your body and your body language into it. Uh -huh. So there's so much more to it than just um, <laughs> going up there on stage. And you are playing with my voice now. I can hear that. I am because there's somebody Thelma did say that uh, you're very low. Awesome. No. Yeah, I've, I've, I've turned Christina down a little bit <laughs> until she wants to say something. Do you have the clicker? No, I can't find it no. today. But you just got to bang the table and say, Oi! <laughs> Somebody asked for a lady in red. Lady in red. <laughs> it sort of looks more morph to me, but there morph. you go. Morph. Morph. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> Take it's, me into the garden, morph. Mauve. Oh, that was Maud, wasn't it? Ma <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maud and Ord. Somebody was saying. Um, uh, somebody was saying that it's funny to to look at people who uh, who can't sing, 
<laughs> or, or who, who don't have a voice. <laughs> That's the funniest. Yeah. <laughs> and Moira was saying, I can't even sing in the shower without somebody telling me I shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do with Chris. I'd say, uh, I'd say hey, uh, get a day job. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. Uh, Carl's Place is saying, people who attend my karaoke nights do so for many reasons. Enjoyment, social reasons, etc. But also to get booked for team building events, yeah. foreign language students, confidence builders, etc. Yes, et absolutely. Oh, I can see that totally. Well, the, re the thing that turned me off karaoke, there was two things that happened. I mean, I, I can sing and I have been, I have performed. I was in a band when I was a teenager. And I can I can sing fairly well. There you go. But uh, I'm not as good as people like Shelley and stuff, right? Mm. And so if I'm not the best at something, then I, I tend not to not to carry on doing mm. it, you know. Yeah. And so I, I got a reasonably good singing voice. Yeah. It's just that when I start powering stuff out, it just sounds like shouting, you know, to me. I can do sort of like crooning stuff, you know, uh -huh. but uh, I can't do the Hi. you know the loud stuff. It's about finding your your own uh, yeah your own voice as well I mm -hmm. think and uh, and <clears throat> I, I mean uh, many uh, people don't like their own voice I had that in the beginning as well that I was not really um, yeah comfortable listening to myself um, and um, and especially singing <laughs> and then I've uh, heard you sing. Yeah? yeah. Oh yes, true. And uh, and and then it's just you know when people say I oh, you can't sing, well then mm, don't listen. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Uh, exactly. And I think there's a, there's a, a story about uh, having to be doing as mu as many things as you can, even if you're not good at it, because that's that's the whole point is is doing the thing yeah. that you're not good at, and it's been attributed to a lot of people. I think the the latest attribute was. Uh, Mark Twain or something like that, but I think that it, it's sort of a, mm -hmm. a a story about doing something that you that you love to do yeah. that you're not good at. And karaoke is one thing that you can do that with. Yeah, I mean you can sort of play golf, but if you're no good at it, it's sort of disheartening at mm -hmm. the end, isn't it? But karaoke, if you're no good at it, it's great. You just go there and shout shout your head off, and then yeah. you've had you've had a blast. And, yeah. and a lot of people, because <laughs> some of people say some of the worst ones are the best. But what put me off karaoke? was I was in, we were in Ibiza, weren't we? Yeah. We were in Ibiza. And there was karaoke night. And I think we must have left Stephanie up in the room, mustn't we? Did we leave her up in the room on her own? <gasps> we never what did that. kind of parents are you? We were <laughs> 90 <parents. laughs> She could have been with us, yeah. Uh, Ian's just arrived. Hi, Hi Ian. Ian's just arrived. Or oh, maybe she has hidden because she was so embarrassed. <laughs> it could have been. It could. Have. Did we ever go to Ibiza without her? Well, Are you sure? Sure. Okay. <laughs> we wanted to. <laughs> uh, let me just get Ian on. There we go. And here we go. Ian, how the devil are you? Hello. Yep, we can hey, hear you. Cool Ian. dude. Hello, Ian. How are you? Hi, Welcome. Folks. Hi, everybody. We've just finished singing. It's your turn. Now it's your turn, Ian. Well, I'm, a, I'm afraid you've no, you've no hope tonight. I have no voice. What? <laughs> I've no voice. Oh, you're not... You're not you haven't got the C, have you? <laughs> Beeped off on again. I was just telling a story about the first Beatbox. time. Not the first time, but the time when I, I, I got fed up with with, um, with karaoke. Anyway, we're in Ibiza and we're in this hotel. And the hotel, just for argument's sake, is in Playa de Talamanca, which is just around the corner from Ibiza town. Mm -hmm. And it was called the Hotel Argos. And oh, it was yeah. like a two and a half star three-star hotel right on the beach <laughs> and it was like half board was it do we have half board bed breakfast uh, bed breakfast evening meal yeah yeah and in the evening meal they bring you a bottle of wine which is included mm -hmm. and then you when you drank half they put you they wrote your name on it and put it back on the thing for the next <laughs> night because uh -huh. they'd only bring you a bottle every two days that was funny but they, they had a karaoke once a night and one one night they had the guy on the on the organ didn't he 
Yeah. Ever and ever, forever and ever, <laughs> I'll be the one. <laughs> I'll be the one. There you go. There you go. And, uh, but on another night, he'd do karaoke. It was the same guy, but he was the, he was the karaoke singer and he was the, the keyboardist. And what happened was, um, I think Johnny's just come in. Johnny, we're with you in a minute. Johnny. You, you're in the background there, so don't worry. We'll bring you on in a minute. And uh, I wanted to sing uh, New York, mm -hmm. right? And I'm pretty good at that song, except, you know, when the power comes, I'm sort of shouting. But you know, start spreading, start spreading the news. <laughs> I'm leaving today. I'm going to make a brand new start of it. I've got to go low because then at the end it's got to go up, is it? New York, That's New York. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, um... And then this French guy went on before me and he says, I want to do New York. And he had this horrible <laughs> speaking voice. And, this, um, <laughs> and, and I was going, oh, no, he's going to ruin it, right? And then he went, duh, 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 duh. and then he, he comes in and he doesn't, hit, he doesn't hit the music. He doesn't start when, when he's supposed to, right? And he waits right till the end of the phrase and goes, that's ready the news. <laughs> And I'm going, oh, no, he's going to ruin it. And I'm telling you, it was the best rendition of New York I had ever heard. Yeah. It was totally original. It was something fresh with an old song. He did it fantastically. He was flamboyant. I mean, and, and I just said, I can't follow that. Because karaoke for me was copying the singer. Uh -huh. And karaoke for him was taking the music and making it his own. Exactly. And I realised then that karaoke, when you copy the singer, you're just a glorified karaoke mm -hmm. singer, right? Yeah. So uh, it's, it's basically tribute, like the tribute bands here, right? Mm -hmm. They all probably started off as karaoke singers, realised they could do it, and then went into the tribute thing, mm -hmm. you know, because you sound like somebody else. Mm -hmm. But this guy came in and just sounded like himself, and I thought, that's the way to do it. And so I gave up. Yeah. I, I didn't go on that night. That's interesting because actually sometimes uh, if I went out there uh, and, I, and I didn't know a song, uh, <coughs> then somebody you, was just saying, uh, yeah, just make it up as you go. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> but, yeah, but that's sometimes the best. But this guy, I'll never forget him. It was, it was, like, it was like a bean pole, right, with a big round head. It's not spreading the news. <laughs> I'm living today with a French accent as well. But it, it was fantastic. I can't do it justice, I'm afraid. If you're watching, French guy, early 90s, <laughs> Hotel Argos on Hotel on Playa de Talamanca. It's interesting that you say Ibiza because that's where I started singing karaoke when I was... <laughs> Yes, I was ten years old actually, mm -hmm. and uh, and I went out with my parents to uh, to bar. Mm -hmm. where, well, that was the the first night we uh, we arrived on Ibiza, and um, we went for a little wander around uh, to see how the area was, uh -huh. and we ended up in this karaoke bar. And then the first night I didn't sing. And then the next night I wanted to go again. And I, I dragged my parents every single night. And then there was, this, there was this girl. She was older than I was at that time, obviously. And, um, and she was sort of like um, yeah, trying to get people to sing. And she was also called Julie, mm -hmm. and and she made me sing my first karaoke song. And then every night I wanted to go back and back and back, and we were singing. <laughs> and I even got my parents or my dad. I got to sing. <laughs> cool, <laughs> dude. Well, we've got somebody to sing tonight. Yep. Let me just say hello to Ian first. Ian, welcome. Sorry that you couldn't be here at the beginning. You didn't really miss much. We haven't done anything right. yet. We did show the right. film though, but you've seen it, right? I've seen it. Yes. Okay. Yes, cool. Yes. So we have a guest, special yeah. guest today. I'm just going to bring him on. So this, yeah. my friends, is Johnny Vlager. We know each other from stage and screen. And I've also met the guy a few times. There you go, Johnny. Let me just unmute you Thank there. You. There you go. Give us a sound <laughs> check. Hello. Test, there test. You, oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, hello, Johnny. Cool dude. Cool dude. Be good, Johnny. So um, yeah. what are you going to sing for us today? Uh, I was going to sing Man on the Moon. Okay, don't go straight into it just yet. Uh, I want a bit of a chat with you first. So, okay. 
when you saw that I'd got Y karaoke, you thought, great, another karaoke thing, and then you're disappointed now because nobody's singing, right? I thought, get in there. <laughs> yeah. So let me ask you, um, you're a great karaoke fan, I know, and you have a, a karaoke show on Friday nights, but what, what brought you to karaoke? What was the, what was the big draw for you? Um, I think it was where I went in some pubs and saw other people singing. And um, I thought it was a challenge, you know. I was a bit shy at the time. And I thought, can I do it or can't I do it? And um, I, I put my name down and I I started doing it. I went up on stage. I was very nervous the first time. And I did it. And after a few times, it boosts your confidence. And then you, you get more and more comfortable doing it. And then I've just kept doing it ever since. Cool. Cool, cool. You want to ask him anything? Yeah. Um, so, so what is your favorite song then? What do you love performing? What genre? I don't think there is a favorite song. It's um, I've got a mixture of favorite songs. So I just pick out ones that I like, and then I like to try new songs now as well. Okay. So you are you are challenging yourself still? Sometimes, yes. Um, people ask me on my lives, um, can you sing this, can you sing that? Uh -huh. And um, some songs I've never heard of, and I, I give them a go. They either wow. sound bad or not too bad. So it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a risk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, I don't mind now, I don't mind. Probably five, ten years ago, I wouldn't have dreamt of doing that. I would have said, oh, no way, you know. Yeah. Have you got a sound system with reverb or do you want me to put reverb on your voice? <laughs> I haven't got a reverb set up, no. Do you want a little bit of reverb for your singing voice? <laughs> If you want, as long as I don't sound like a smurf. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. I'm going to mute Ian because he's on the same channel as you. So Ian's muted there. I'm going to mute us and then... I'm going to introduce you with the Freaky Friday logo because I don't have any, I don't have a karaoke uh, intro. And then as soon as that's finished, you'll be solo on. You can start anytime you like. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we can, that's too much. A bit Pigs more. Pigs in space. Pigs in space. Here we go. <laughs> so we're we're going to mute ourselves. <laughs> Hello, hello everyone. Thanks, Tim, for letting me sing a song. So here we go. I'm going to sing an REM song. It's called Man on the Moon. Okay, so here we go. Can you hear that? Yes, sir. Mark the hoop boy and the game of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andy Kaufman in the wrestling match. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monopoly 21 checkers and chess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Fred Brassy in a breakfast place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's play Twister, let's play Risk. Yeah, 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 yeah. See you in heaven if you make a list. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Angie, did you hear about this one? Tell me, are you locked in the punch? And, Angie, are you goofing on Elvis, eh, baby? Are we losing touch? If you believe. They put a man on the moon, man on the moon. If you believe there's nothing up his sleeve and nothing is cool. Moses went walking with a stack of wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Newton got beans by the apple good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Egypt was troubled by the ASP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Charles Darwin at the Gold Trust. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Now, Angie, did you hear about this one? And tell me, are you locked in the post? And Angie, are you goofing on Elvis, eh, baby? Are you having fun? If you believe they put a man on the moon, man on the moon. If you believe there's nothing up his sleeve and nothing is good. It's a little like it for the never believer. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little ghost for the offering. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a truck stop instead of St. Peter's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Andy Kaufman's gone wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Andy, did you hear about this one? Tell me, are you locked in the punch? And, Andy, are you goofing on our this eh, baby? Are we losing touch? If you believe they put a man on the moon, man on the moon, if you believe there's nothing up his sleeve, and nothing is good. You're definitely cool. Woo-hoo! Thank you, Johnny. You're not finished. Nearly the end. If you believe, they put a man on the moon, a man on the moon. If you believe, there's nothing up his sleeve, and nothing is cool. If you believe, they put a man on the moon, a man on the moon. If you believe, there's nothing up his sleeve, nothing is cool. If you believe, they put a man on the moon, a man, man on, on the, the moon. moon. If you believe there's nothing up his sleeve and nothing is cool. There you go. Cool, dude. (laughs) Here we go. We're all on. Thank you. Johnny, your your oxytocin levels must be high up now. Oxytocin? Yeah, my levels go (laughs) up and down. Yeah. Oh. That was the next one, was it? <laughs> You're just going to take over now, aren't you? Gonna... <laughs> yeah, go, go straight ahead, go straight ahead. We got loads of people clapping on the on the thing here. Yeah? Good. We got thank loads you, of people. I can't see the comments right now, so thank you, everyone. Okay, Aww. good on you, Johnny. All you looking having fun, says Denise Pearson. Uh, You've come is... on a few times, Tim, haven't you, on my show to sing and talk? So I've come on, yeah. I've, I've I've come on a few times. I'm I'm not a big. I remember you sang a couple, didn't you? I think because I'd had too much to drink. I'd had too much to drink, I think. (laughs) I need to come on. It's Friday at, uh, what time is it? Yeah, come on if you want one Friday. Anyone's welcome. (laughs) I think it's 8 o'clock till 2 o'clock in the morning or something. (gasps) Wow. (laughs) Five hours. (laughs) Five hours. Oh, my God. (laughs) Thousands of claps, thousands of claps. Distraction saying, this guy does live hours of karaoke, mostly Friday nights. It's an epic night. Oh, Gary, bet. the bus driver. Well done, Johnny. Sub saying good evening, all. Um, Carl says Gary. countdown until we see a clip of this on Tenerife Uncovered. I don't think he covers me, so he doesn't watch. So Johnny, I would like to ask you, did you start the, the channel or doing that uh, live session uh, during lockdown? Was that when you started? Uh, no, I started in October 2020. So it was after the initial lockdown. Oh, I suppose okay. halfway through the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. But did that I've give you bored. sort of like the idea to do that? Because obviously uh-huh. back then and uh, during lockdown you couldn't go to the to the karaoke bars, could you? 
Yeah, I guess partly, yeah. It was yeah. getting boring staying in, so yeah. I, I thought, why not try karaoke, yeah. 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 I remember uh, I um, uh, used to uh, sing also during lockdown. I would just put, uh, for instance, uh, YouTube on and then start singing. And I don't, I don't have a proper microphone at home, but I have a, a perfume bottle yeah. which is golden, <laughs> and it's a golden <laughs> microphone, and it <laughs> converts into a perfume bottle. <laughs> so I was singing, uh, yeah, fun. at home, and I had some good time, <laughs> and it, it really. It really is therapeutic. It it really is. I even created and I uh, a, a a YouTube karaoke list with uh, happy songs and uh, yeah and songs that uh, I loved to sing that um, meant right. a lot um, to me. So <laughs> yeah, sing to different mood swings. That's exactly. It. Yeah. And Jenny from the block is saying good job, Johnny, and she was also saying Tim, I'm like you. I'm a perfectionist. It's not bad, but I think I need to be perfect. I use one of the background uh, track apps and sing in the apartment. Just stressfully for me. Maybe not for the neighbours, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, Ian, you're, you're unmuted again, sir. Right, I'm there. You, you're Hello? there. You're there. Yes, we can hear I'm you. I'm still there. I'm still there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I was going... Uh, Julianne, I was going to say, ask you, did you see... What I put up on my Facebook page. And uh, no, what did you put up? Oh, you a uh, nice wee song. My song. Yes. Ooh, yes, exactly. That you, was you know also, what I mean. That was also during lockdown. I was bored <laughs> <laughs> and I had to do something. Uh, I just yes. wasn't if you'd see that. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yes, exactly. So that was the perfume bottle, by the way. So, <laughs> right. can, can everybody see it, Ian, or is it your private Facebook page? No, you should be able it's, to pick it up because it, it goes is, it goes out on on feet. It's a German song, by the way. It is a German song. Über sieben yeah. Brücken musst du gehen. Yeah, but how? Yeah, but how will they get to see it? You, you've got to uh, find Ian Miller on Facebook, right? That's true. That's if true. you go if you go through uh, your uh, base, Juliana, they'll find it on that, won't they? You know what? I could actually upload it on my YouTube. Good night. The next upload on Juliani's YouTube channel. So and, uh, and that's a good excuse to nip over to Juliani's channel and subscribe. And I wouldn't get in trouble with Peter Mafino. No, no. <laughs> he, he might send the boys round. But... Exactly. It's <laughs> from Exactly. The original is from Karat. It's only two. Yeah. And then and then Peter Maffei sang it. So and there's three people that, uh, that nobody's ever heard of we're talking about now. You hope you realize that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but you know what? There is even an English version, uh -huh. um, and ah. I'm not sure if it's uh, over about... seven bridges. You have to go. Exactly. Yes. I don't know if it's yes. that, but um, but there is definitely an English uh, version of it. I've I've yeah. actually picked that one up. Uh, I can't remember where I got it, but I just kept scrolling through and I actually picked up the English version. Yes. Yes. Cool. Yep. You're still on, Johnny. If you want to chip in, you're very, very welcome to stay for the rest yeah, of the Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah. I'm not the best of conversationists, but I'm I'll do my best. <laughs> can you can you see the you still can't see the um the, the chats, can you? Um I'll try and get my other phone up and running no, no, and no, then no, I'll no. so it's okay. It's okay. Cole's place is saying most requested karaoke songs this year. Number one, Sweet Caroline. Two, my yeah. way. Three, Valerie. Uh, four, Mamma Mia. And mm -hmm. five, Angels by Robbie Williams. Angels by that's oh, a hard yeah. one. To yeah. Yeah. That's a hard one to yep. sing. Yep. Yeah, that's Angels. You've got to have a high pitched voice for that one. Yeah. Yeah. I used to do. I used to do Sweet Caroline. I was in a band called Starry, and it was a band that was started by Steve and Harry. And Harry owns the Mirage in uh, El Cana in in Ibiza. Ah. And five angels by Robbie Williams. Oh, somebody's got a, a phone up. That's right. Turned it off. Okay, right. no, no problem. She hates the sound of her voice as well. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no,
it goes all echoey and mad when oh, you got right. another device. It is, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, what's it called? Stephen Harry, it was right. And then we'd always start with "Beautiful Sunday," and then "Sweet Caroline." Oh. So those, those, those were like the the old ones. It's 1974, I think we started. I was 13 or 14. 1974, 75, 76. And 76, we went, I went punk. Ooh. He was so, a punk. Oh. A bit of a punk. I wasn't. I wasn't really a punk. I think I was. I, I just wanted to be in with the crowd. As well. a mate of mine was a real punk, and, and I Have you got any to photographs to show us? <laughs> uh, luckily enough, I'm that that age where there is no um, evidence of me being stupid. <laughs> All right. Good. Exactly. Good. Exactly. <laughs> Christian, the <laughs> nowadays has it hard. They have it hard. Yeah. Oh, I like looking at the old um, punk um, photos and rock ones, yeah. Okay. Oh, the toy ones themselves. So Moira's asking, are you going to give us a wee Scottish song, Ian? I'm afraid no chance. I'm afraid no, <laughs> no chance, chance, he says. <laughs> uh, Sorry about that, Moira. <laughs> <laughs> Where it began. Yep. I, can't, I don't even know the worst of these songs. Hang on. Where it began. No, I can't remember. What's the, what's the second line to Sweet Caroline? I can't oh. begin to know it. Yes. Da -da 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 going strong. I've started too low, haven't I? But I, c I can never get the top voices at the end, so it doesn't really matter. I could do a Welsh, I could do a Welsh song, but I'm, I don't know whether I got the right words or not. Are you ready? Here's a Welsh song, a cappella. Go on, then. Okay, I'll just... Mute everybody else. Nedwin Govin Bowed Moithis. I rabi the bell I man. Govin ruin our calon harpies. Calon harpies, calon lan. Calon lan a town dione. Take a hill a lily glow. Dimon Caron Lan Arcanir, Canir di Darcaninus. Something like that. Can I order Gangish? Thank you very much. Uh, uh, why not? The, the, to all the Welsh people listening, um, I'm sorry if I um, if I murdered that song, but it's, I, I just remember my grandma singing it, and so I'm just singing it. Uh, I know I know some of the words, right? Um, singing through the night and singing through the day, but uh, it's not very well done. Tom Jones in the house. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Help yourself to my lips, to my arms. You see <laughs> the word, and they are your. I comes. I've started to. I know. What would be Tenerife without a good karaoke? You know, Definitely. I managed to do it. Yeah. I managed to come one. here and live here without doing karaoke. Uh, yeah, but you still hear hear it, you oh, know? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's terrible. It is terrible. I mean, <laughs> I think that they're professionals over at the Hard Rock, but it still sounds like karaoke here. Mm -hmm. I think you've got to be close yep. close to the speakers to enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what we got? It says I got sixty-eight people watching, but I'm sure we got more than that. We got more eighty-five. Than that. Eighty-five. It says. So, ladies and gentlemen, eighty-five people watching. I do apologise if you were expecting a great karaoke evening. I didn't realise when I was putting up the title, "Why Karaoke," that I should have put more information in, shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, like why does karaoke help you feel good? Yeah, but the original title was "Why Karaoke," no? It was, yeah, I just copied it. Yeah, so, good. Is that Spanish? <laughs> no, is it? Are you talking to me? Is that Spanish? I was singing in Welsh. Welsh. <laughs> uh, actually, why karaoke? Dale Wynn Roberts, uh, die out him. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dale Wynn. Mein drug any, Dale Wynn. That's lo siento. That's, I'm ah, sorry. Okay. Mein drug any. What are the benefits? From karaoke. What would you say, went, Ian? Everybody's went quiet. What, what, would, what would you say, Ian? Have you tried karaoke? No, I have not tried karaoke. Uh, I'm not a karaoke fan. 
Uh-huh. But I do like, a, I do enjoy people going up and doing the karaoke. What I think it is, it's a great benefit for single people. Um, I have a, 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 a relation that is single and she really enjoys uh, getting involved in karaoke. If she goes into a club or a pub or everything like that, uh, it, uh, she gets herself involved in the karaoke and it's, it's very good. It's very stimulating for her. She mm. really enjoys it and she makes a lot of friends that way. So, I mean, single people uh, going out to socialise, yes. Yeah. Community. I would say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Like, like I said in the video, music is a, is a connector. Mm. Somebody's asking, <laughs> how do I know Welsh? Well, I think it's well. my, my first I'm single. Exactly. Exactly, Johnny. Let me just get it back up here. There we go. Uh, somebody's yeah. asking, how do I know Welsh? My, f my grandmother was Welsh. My mum was, she'd say she was pure Welsh, even though she was born in England, uh, because both her parents are Welsh. So she's, she's full pure Welsh blood, she's saying, you know. And uh, my first wife was Welsh. And her mother, in her mother, my mother-in-law, um, couldn't really speak, well, she could speak English, but um, she felt, she felt uh, com more comfortable in Welsh. And she was a great singer. So... Um, a lot, I think a lot of Welsh people are good singers, but she was like a an opera class singer, wow. and she, that was that was very good. That was very good. There's there's a comment at Calls Place. Mm -hmm. uh, benefits. My regular singers all say it gets them out meeting others, gives them confidence, helps them meet other like minded people. Yeah. Others just say it's a laugh. Yeah. So there, yeah. that proves it proves the point there that uh, single people really like, uh, really enjoy it. Yeah. Sarah Charles is saying you have a great deep voice, Tim. Your voice would be great for some enchanted evening, South Pacific. And I think that's a song, is it? And a film. Or you're not yes. telling me to go and <laughs> some enchanted evening go and sing in South Pacific, you know? <laughs> some enchanted evening. <laughs> that was a I can't I can't do it. it's a family channel isn't it is it yeah, it's a family channel <laughs> I know some really bad words to that song you know some really bad words <laughs> about everything <laughs> <laughs> we should do an x-rated karaoke one night Johnny uh, yeah yeah uh, yeah I might do various shows soon like a rock one or a pop one or an 80s one and a 60s yeah. one or something. Somebody said in what? the in the comments that the 90s are the best. Uh-huh. I'm going to have to oh. I'm going to have to finish us earlier tonight. Oh, I love mm. the 80s. You can't beat the 80s. No, you, <laughs> you can't beat the 80s, but I'm going to finish us early tonight because my I don't know why but my uh things running out of battery. Oh. In media to menti. It's gone it's gone red. I don't know why. I loaded it up. It was plugged in. Maybe I hadn't plugged it all the way in. Our vibes are too strong for that. Well, thing. and it's 52 minutes now, anyway, so we're only, we're only seven yeah. minutes thing. And I think um, that Daniel, the crackmaster, is going live after us tonight. So he did ask, but I didn't find out when he's going live, but he did ask when we were finishing. So I said around about seven. Hmm. So look out for yeah. a possible live from the crackmaster tonight. Uh, Darren's, John's editing well, so there'll be plenty of more content from him coming. Of course, the Mac Master, who's back home in Blighty, I think, is um, is still on his on his break. I think I think he's still on his break, but he will be uploading some stuff very very soon. Johnny Vlogger here is live. Is it most evenings, Johnny, or does it just Fridays? No, now? I just stick to Fridays, or if I can't do Friday, I do a Saturday. Oh, I've seen you doing Saturdays as well. So Friday, Saturday, Johnny Vlogger, UK. Yuliani Nendel, of course. Here's yulianinendel.com. If you want to know any more about what she's doing or how she can help you even, or... Or yeah. even have a sing-song. Or even just have a sing-song. A sing -song. therapeutic sing-song. That's so perfect if, too. Or if you want to learn Spanish remotely. Also that. <laughs> she does that as well. She will do one-on-one -on -one Spanish lessons with you guys, and she will let you not only teach you how to speak Spanish, but also tell you... Uh, uh, help you in Spanish 
it's sort of a mixture, isn't it? Really? Yes, well, exactly. You want it to be. And however it's however always it. accompanied with a sing song. And it's always accompanied <laughs> the with ones it. who know me and who who learn Spanish with me. <laughs> you, you know who you are. <laughs> uh, you always know that you get a song with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's all the Spanish songs. And Maria Spanish saying, "Can I sing La Bamba? Si. Can I sing La Bamba? Ay, La Bamba. I don't know the words to La Bamba, but I'll find it out because <laughs> before I, before I even thought about learning uh, Spanish. Oh, is that me gone? Is that you gone? Is it Johnny? There you go. Uh, before I even started thinking about Lady That's all right. Someone rang me. It's all right. La Bamba was something like it. Blah, 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 La Bamba. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What about the. Um, I can't remember what the one was called. With um, I've just muted for a second, Johnny. I'll, I'll bring you back to say though. Um, what's the one that we una le fantasy? Balenciaga. Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> was a children's. It was song. a children's song. Yeah, we, we we used to sing that. I'm going to bring you back in now, Johnny, to say So I'm going to go around the table. The battery is about to die, so I'm going to put up the vamos a la playa. Hello. But first of all. Christina Lee. Well, the good evening. And you're going to wait for your, your fantastic dinner. Vegetarian cottage pie. Ooh. Ooh. Yuliani. Yeah, well, thank you also, Johnny, for singing us a song. And, yeah, for the great uh, uh, happy hormones in the in the community thank you. chat. <laughs> nice and speaking I'll definitely to you go all. back and look at the <laughs> chats. Sorry, yeah. Johnny, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Yeah, I said thank you, everyone. It's nice okay. talking to everyone. Cheers, Good Ryan. stuff. And Ian, the old China. Yep. Yeah. That's uh, another evening up. I'll see your batteries dying. I'll leave you with a quick story from my simple pleasures. Okie dokie. It's called Sing a Song. Singing can reduce stress, improve your posture, boost your immune system, and even increase your life expectancy. And it definitely makes you feel good, so sing. Whether it's in the shower, in the car, or at a karaoke night, you could even join a choir, rock a choral, and sing with the others for that extra feel-good boost. Over to you. Cool dude. Cool. But all I've got to say these days 